my friends, Commander Rico here, and it is a pretty big week for my clone army. I've gotten a lot of stuff in the mail. I got my first clone army customs order, I believe, in like a few months. And we also have a keep canteen order, which is poorly packaged. It has like tape and everything. But I think we get in the keep canteen right, right now. So let's do that. I also got a lot of guns with that clone army customs order. I'm not going to cover all those because that's a lot. But yeah, I'm going to open up this Cape Cantina order, and let's see what's inside. Uh, oh crap, I'm, I'm just going to ruin the packaging. Okay, so this week I got my free capes. Uh, they were one... Oh wow. Okay, this looks awesome. Uh, wow. Okay. So let's open this one up first. Um, I believe this is Echo or Jesse or something. These are... This is a really cool one. Um, I've been ordering these like every week and they come in, oh wow, okay, so one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, this is three capes, I, I got six total, we have this really weird looking round thing, uh, is this a clone cape? Maybe, I don't know, all I know is, uh, what is it, Thursday, Friday, I don't know, something like that, uh. We have this one, which is epic. It has little holsters. I just insane. It might be an arc tripper one. And considering I just got this uh, helmet, maybe I can make a full arc tripper out of it. And next we have uh, this. So let's uh, open that one up. And this looks like Hounda, Hound Legion uh, stuff. So we have a white and a, and a little bit more white and red and a little bit of uh, blotchy thing. I, I don't know what this is. It's So in total we got one, two, three, four, five, six capes. Yes, exactly what I ordered. And then we have the Cape Cantina. They're great. Use code BOBALUG. Um, save 10% off your order. Or tell them I sent you. I don't know. Um, made in the USA. Great to support our American manufacturers. But yeah, also I noticed it says hints of blue. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it's pretty cool. But yeah, these are some awesome capes. Definitely better than last week's loadout. Hey, and if you want, you'd have capes that say the Cape Cantina and just like make that look cool. I don't know. Um, but yeah, here, I'm going to try this out in an ARC Trooper and modify him. Let me just start off by saying I was not expecting it to look this cool. Wow. This is a cool figure. Here, I'll put a little antenna on him. But uh, yeah, it took me a bit of time to put the capes on to have to get right. Um, yeah, that is a really cool figure. If the legs were a bit of a different color, it would have looked even better. But yeah, so now I'm going to add the rest of these to my little, uh, cape pile. And yeah, this is just awesome. Uh, I have a yellow one. I don't have any yellow capes yet. But yeah, um, I don't know what I could use this for. This one, the little blotchy one. Um, I'll try it on Rico. I'll see how it looks. I had modified this arc trooper and gave him the, the one I got a week ago. And... Also looks epic. Maybe I'll, uh, wait, do I have two of these now? No. I have this one, this one. Yeah, one of them has black. You just swapped out the colors. This one looks so weird. Um, but yeah, let me try the other one on Rico. He's basically, uh, Rico's, uh, Clinic Customs cape, kind of. Yeah, I think that explains it. So I've been looking for another one. I might order one even even though I'm going to get the free ones because I need a new one. To, unless this one looks really cool on him. Uh, probably won't because it's so white. If it was gray, I would. But it's not, so I'll put it in now. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, probably not Yeah, not keeping this on, but it, it, it's okay. I think it's like a dollar on his, uh, it's on his dollar page. So, if anyone else liked it, go ahead and check it out. Uh, it's not my personal style. Okay, now we'll kind of cover uh, the Clone Re Customs haul. I got this uh, dude, the ARF Trooper, in a giveaway. I won a giveaway, which is awesome. Uh, I'm giving away a bunch of other stuff. I think that I'm announced, I already announced the winner as of the time of this is going up. But yeah, look at that. Uh, the printing is insane. It goes like right down to like even the insides and under the arms. It just looks fantastic. Uh, 360 printing everywhere. When I say everywhere, I mean everywhere short of like the head. 
and the hands. That's what cloning customs I would see. I think would be awesome if they are uh, printed on the hands. But you know, you can't win them all. I also got these two helmets. Uh, three helmets. Three helmets. This one is my favorite, but I don't know what to use it on. If anyone has any, oh wait, I just saw this. I'm not gonna leave it like this, but okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, I like my heavy one on Matt more, no, sadly, so I'm going to have to keep that on him, but this is still a really cool helmet, and I love it. I also got this brand new Chronomy Customs helmet, uh, it's like the Battlefront 2 Trooper uh, helmet, and it looks awesome. I uh, figured I'd, I knew I would do it so I could put this one on, and then maybe he could get a new uh, shoulder cloth or something? I don't know. I'll kind of toy around with it later, but yeah, he's also looking absolutely fire i mean compared to this i think it's pretty good i don't know about you but yeah just so many exciting things um you also hit 1000 subscribers which is fantastic um so i think i have one more thing to cover i'll do a little commentary piece and then yeah what 53 dollars for two wolf pack clone troopers Hi, I'm Commander Rico. As you probably have experienced like me, clone troopers are really expensive. I mean, look at this. Let's see, for two used wolf pack troopers, it will cost you $50 plus shipping. I told you that there is a solution to this problem. Let's be honest, we all have a lot of free time on our hands. And what better to do than make your own Lego clone troopers? DIY clone troopers look fantastic. I would totally recommend you buy the kits from him. You get the bodies, the helmet, the torso, and the decals to make your own Lego clone trooper. It is fantastic. He also sells a bunch of other stuff, so please check out the link in the description and buy something. And if you use code RICO, R-I-C-O, you will save 20% off. This is a deal you cannot find anywhere else. I recommend you check them out, and thank you to Bricks by Bricks YT for sponsoring this video. Okay, so before we close this video out, um, you may or may not have heard of this kind of big thing. It's called the 501st Battle Pack, and my gosh, is it epic. Now, first off, I just want to say I completely called it. You could go back and look at my last uh, Building a Clone Army in this playlist or whatever you're watching this on, and you will see that on March 27th, I said that LEGO was going to be making a 501st Battle Pack, but it wasn't what we thought. I called that it was going to be a speeder, I called that it was going to be an ATRT, and I called that it was going to have four 501st Troopers. Uh, it ended up having three and a jetpack 501st Troopers, so basically four. And I said it would probably have like two droids. I think, I, I believe I said that. And I was right on every beat. It was $30, I think I was right on two. And what are the odds I released that video? Because that, the hype started kind of dying down. Like, like it was there, but it was kind of dying down. But what are the odds that I called it? <laughs> like, I was right on the marble. I pretty much got it. I know there were rumors and everything, but like, that close? Like, the rumors had been there for months, but I just knew that was the time to do it. Wow, I have been batting a thousand. I thought that was pretty cool that I noticed that. And overall, I think the set looks fantastic. Um, the build, the ATRT is meh. The, the speeder looks fantastic. I love the speeder. Um, the droids, if they added two more droids, it would have been perfect. Like, it's a 9.5, only because you're paying for two battle packs, and you're basically getting, like, one and a half. If you could say you had four droids and four clones, so it's, like, a two battle packs and one sort of thing, because there's two builds, then I, that would be a much, much easier sell. But, um, yeah, I love it. It is fantastic. I have $90 for the Lego store. I will be buying all of them. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, not all of them. Could be buying that, and and then over time, I'm probably just gonna like pick them up as I go. I'll probably end up buying like ten by the end of their sale, um, if we're being completely honest. And I just love them; they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, a lot of people, it's so annoying because like we 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 harass Lego for a year, maybe more. I don't know. And after that, they they actually do it, and then people still complain. Like, I'm so annoyed that people are just like, oh, well, they don't look exactly how I want it to be. I mean, if we're being honest, this is probably the best Lego set that's come out that we've wanted since, like, 
I don't I don't know how long. But it's been a really long time. Anyway, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed, and tell me what your thoughts are on the 501st Battle Pack. With that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you all. Mm -hmm.